Ashley, you're visiting the UK to have a look at the Premier League. You work predominantly in the MLS. Why are so many MLS players now coming to the Premier League in the winter break? I think it um, keeps the level of competition and their, their level of fitness up for when the MLS season starts. And I think it's also good to play against the best. You know, that's how you know where your level of talent is at. And uh, for the MLS, all it can do is build a stronger foundation and build more credibility for the league. And I think it's a great thing that, that players are doing this. How much interest are MLS fans taking in the Premier League because their players are now coming back here for the winter break? Well, I can tell you that probably a few LA Galaxy fans are probably now Aston Villa fans with Robbie Keane coming over here. And um, I think it definitely attracts, you know, a global sort of attention and awareness on both sides, which can only really be a good thing. Now, Thierry Henry, who I know you've interviewed a number of times, is back playing for Arsenal. How big a news story is that back home in America? Well, his first performance out was quite an exceptional one, so it definitely raised a few eyebrows. I know I'm sure there are, once again, just like with uh, Robbie Keane, there's probably a few more New York Red Bulls fans who are now watching the Gunners closely. So um, it, was, it was definitely a big story. Now, of course, the big talking point is always David Beckham. What's the inside word back in America? Is he going to sign for the Galaxy again or is he going to come back here in Europe, do you think? I think he'll be back with the L.A. Galaxy. I think, you know, for his family also, you know, they enjoy the L.A. lifestyle from what I hear. So I think he'll definitely be back in the MLS. Has he, more than any other English player, really brought soccer to life in America? Definitely. More, more than any other one that I can really think of, he has sort of created this sort of attraction to a sport that just continues to gain popularity in the U.S. and he's a great ambassador. How many more do you think English players do you think will see at the latter part of their careers go to, to the MLS? I think it's definitely a trend that will continue and um, you know we're also seeing some of the younger players in the MLS like a Breck Shea coming to train with, uh, with Arsenal and then we had Juan Agudelo training with Liverpool so it's good that there's an exchange not only the older players but some of the younger players from the MLS just training with these teams is probably some of the best experiences that they'll have in their career. Now soccer is interesting in America because for other sports you get such huge audiences. Do you think it is still growing? It is, and um, I, I just read a recent report that said this last season, over the summer, um, it even exceeded Major League Baseball in attendance and as far as popularity. So it's growing. It's a great time for the sport in the U.S., um, not only with the national team, but in the MLS. It just seems to continue to grow, and it has a very bright future. Now, you spend a lot of time with the Columbus crew. They've got an association with Newcastle. Do you think we see, may see any Newcastle United players or Columbus crew players swapping Places. Well, I know if crew fans see this, they will definitely go wild for that because they are definitely uh, cheering for the tune. They have this sort of um, newfound connection with Newcastle. And I think it's great that, you know, these partnerships, so to speak, um, you know, are developing because, you know, as we talked about earlier, it's only good for, for both leagues. And, and finally, it's live game this weekend, Newcastle QPR. How much are you looking forward to seeing that, your first Premier League game? I'm, I'm tired of watching them on the television. And so the atmosphere, I know, will be electric. St. James Park is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so I can't wait. I said Christmas has come early again, and it's only January. <laughs> Ashley, thanks for talking to us. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Definitely. Thank you. Well, welcome back to Newcastle. Uh, we're just uh, a short while away from today's lunchtime kickoff, Newcastle versus Queen's Park Rangers. Very pleased to say I've been joined by a broadcasting colleague from America, Ashley Ignelzi, joins me. Ashley, the Premier League, how big is it now in America? Well, it's growing every day, every month. It seems like this, the sport overseas in the U.S. is continuing to grain, gain popularity, and I just think it's great, you know, just to be able to have that connection with the, the MLS in the U.S. and then here in the EPL. You've seen many MLS games. This is your first Premier League game. What are you expecting to see today? Oh, I'm just so excited to see the environment, the atmosphere, and to be at St. James Park, where it's such a storied club, so much history and tradition. I just think the fans are going to make this place electric. I've got to ask you, what do you make of the weather? Minus three it is today in Newcastle. A little chilly, but I was smart and I brought my layers because all the fans kept telling me about how cold it was. So, so I'm prepared. I came prepared. Now, you've been around the Newcastle camp a bit this week. What can you tell us? What's the inside secrets? Are they going to win? 
Oh, of course, without a doubt. I hope I don't get in trouble on this one. I hope they don't make me look bad, but definitely, you know, I think um, I, I saw, saw that QPR hasn't been able to keep a clean sheet in, through 12 matches, and they haven't won winless through eight. So I think this momentum that Newcastle have right now, as long as they play disciplined and focused, without a doubt, they'll get the po three points. You mentioned Queen's Park Rangers being on a bad run. They've got a new manager. Do you think in England that sometimes makes a difference? Do you think it will today? You know, it definitely could sort of spark them. They want to leave all of those bad statistics in the past. But um, I think at home is huge for Newcastle. They, uh, it's not going to be an easy one. It's not going to be a walk in the park, but I think they can get it done. And just finally, we've seen a lot of MLS players come here this winter break. We haven't seen any in the Northeast yet. Do you, will you be recommending Newcastle to a few of them? I don't know if I could do that to the crew. You know, I got to keep them for me. So. Um, there's a few that I think we could definitely fit in here. Well, our colors are black and gold, so not quite the black and white. But um, I can't do that to the crew. <laughs> Ashley, we hope you enjoy the game. and Hopefully, you'll see a Newcastle United victory. There we are, Ashley Ignelzi, a colleague from America, seeing her first Premier League game today. And it's going to be a good one. Newcastle, Queen's Park Rangers, both teams with key players missing, could be a lot more finely balanced than we anticipated a couple of weeks ago this game.